We're back doing some more car shopping here in Bend, Oregon. Let me introduce you guys to my twin brother, Mike. What's up? I'm just kidding, actually. He's two years older than me. I have three older brothers. We all look the same. About two weeks ago, I test drove a Ford Raptor and a Jeep Wrangler. Check out this G-Wagon. That thing is sweet. It's got some somewhat of a lift on it. Unfortunately, that is out of my price range. Ooh, there it is. So there's the Evoque. They have a Defender 90 right here. They got the Panamera. I love this Jeep too. This is sweet. All right, let's go test drive an Evoque. This is cool. This is really cool. So I know you guys are thinking, how in the world could I ever even consider an Evoque? And that's because it looks sick. So let's go and test drive. It has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder, 240 horsepower. It's not bad because it doesn't weigh that much. So it's pretty quick. And fuel economy is 21 in the city, 28 on the highway, which I'm shocked. But I guess it has a four cylinder, so. But 28 is pretty good. Double the Lambo. Double the Lambo, yeah. <laughs> on a good day. For the Lambo. 14, the Lambo yeah. 14 in the Lambo is a good day. This one, they're asking right around $25,000. It has 74,000 miles on it. So it's not like super low miles, but compared to the Raptor, it's 10,000 less and it has less miles. Don't crash it. I won't. The insurance is on my name. You better not crash it. But I think the Evoke, it looks so cool. I love this roof line how it slopes down and this kind of slopes up and you get these oh it just it's a cool cool looking range rover that thing is sweet what do you guys think satin chrome hey he's leaving what do you guys think satin chrome purple could look kind of cool oh, i just love the look of this thing all right i i guess that's it cheers mate We got the Meridian sound system, which from what I hear from Meridian, that's very, very good. We got navigation. I love this brushed aluminum. We got, we got cup holders. I'm really, I'm really impressed by cup holders, guys, as some of you will know from the F60 America. But it just looks nice. It's a nice looking car. Heated seats, that is a must for living in Utah. I mean, just look at that shot, actually. That's just a beautiful cinematic shot right now because of that moonroof. I really love the lighting. And if we want to close it, watch this and be amazed. Oh, no, GoPro! <laughs> I almost got the GoPro. <laughs> he likes his horsepower. Like it kind of runs power. in the family. Yeah, horsepower is good. I like the styling inside a little more on it. Yeah. This is a little plasticky to me. Oh, I was just complimenting that. <laughs> well, I was complimenting it and he was thinking, wow, my brother's a chump. <laughs> he usually thinks that though. You know, I test drove that Jeep Wrangler two weeks ago. That was brand new, it was 40 grand. The Raptor was $35,000. Honestly, that's a little bit more than I really want to spend. Whereas this Evoke is $25,000. And I, I feel like that's kind of where my budget is. It's sort of 22,000 to 28,000 is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and this obviously, this obviously fits into that budget. It's nice, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the Evoke? Raptor. I can't afford the Raptor. I just told him I can't afford the Raptor. I can't it, afford the Raptor. Make it happen. Nine miles to the gallon. Nine. Uh, that's true. And that thing was 35 grand with 90,000 miles or whatever. So can't really afford the Raptor. I Obviously I dig it and I'd love to go desert running. Desert running sounds like so much fun. My biggest concern, it's a Land Rover. Everybody knows Land Rover has the worst reliability of every auto manufacturer. Now, I think that they've gotten better but they still have that reputation. I don't know if I can get that out of my head. Well, you know? people still buy them for a reason. Well, it's because they look sick. It's all marketing, you know? Well, and you got your well, and sand mode. You got sand mode. Guys, we got sand mode. Got sand mode. So You need that. <sighs> all right. Well. Oh, look at the backup camera. Engine start, yeah. That is cool. I've never had a car with an engine start stop button. What, really? Never. Lambo? Oh yeah, it's got a key. Yep. It's 10 years old. 
It looks great. I still love the looks of it. Let's, uh, let's check out the back because obviously one thing that I really like the idea of is being able to sleep in. You're not gonna fit in there. <laughs> nope. Here, let's give it a try. I'm not gonna fit. Even with this, even with the seats folded down, what I couldn't is, fit in that. What is that? Whoa. What are these? Latches. It's a latch system. I like latches. What is that? Is that just to open? It's for latching things. What do you mean latching things? What do you, what would we need to latch? <laughs> I've never had one of those before. That's cool. That's pretty standard though. Mike is not impressed. I'm not impressed. I got one of those. He has one of those. But I mean, seriously, that is a good looking SUV. I love the styling. That's Bear with me for one second. This is kind of what I'm picturing. Okay, obviously this like sandstone color, it's a little boring, but what if we wrapped it satin chrome purple? We lifted it maybe four, four inches, six inches, six inches, four inches. We'll go a four inch lift, got some bigger tires, got a light bar up top, a winch, can we put a, Probably couldn't get a winch up front. Rooftop tent? Rooftop tent? Well, wait, I can't sleep in the back, so I need a rooftop tent. I don't know, I feel like it could be something pretty cool. There it is. Pretty good looking Evoke. I'm really digging the G-Wagon, though. Can I afford a G-Wagon, Mike? Yeah. Hmm. All right, you so get, we're gonna- no, You can get a cheap G-Wagon. You can get one for like 30,000. That's not cheap. That's not I just told these guys my budget was 23 to 28. Oh, yeah. Break the budget. Break the budget. All right, so we're gonna go see if we can find a Toyota FJ Cruiser to go test drive. There is the FJ, the silver one right there, guys. Found ourselves an FJ Cruiser. My brother has talked about buying an FJ Cruiser basically my entire life. Toyota doesn't even build the FJ Cruiser anymore, but I think they look awesome. I've always loved the styling. You got that old, Land Cruiser retro style going on up front. You got the massive B pillar thing, which makes the visibility atrocious, but it looks great. Of course, unlike the Evoke, I could actually tow with the FJ Cruiser. Towing capacity is right around 5,000 pounds. The Gallardo weighs 3,500. So I, I could tow it, but just kind of, you know, I could kind of tow. Got the rack up top, take a quick look inside. One of my favorite features is kind of dumb, but kind of cool at the same time. So we have the compass right here, but then this is the angle meter. So if I'm doing some crazy rock crawling, this will tell me the angle of the vehicle. We got the rear differential lock right there. Very cool, I dig it, I dig it guys. The suicide doors a la Rolls-Royce Phantom. I have a ton of storage back here, but I don't have a family, so probably be okay. Pretty nice interior, actually. Pretty good storage. I, I think I could probably sleep back here because these seats fold all the way down. I don't, actually, I don't know. It'd be a tight fit. Get some imperfections right there. So this one is eighteen thousand. $442, it has 114,000 miles on it. How is it back there? We got in pretty easily. When you find one that's been modified, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Because it's good because it looks cool. Right. But it's bad, bad because it's, probably it's, been, used. it's probably been used, yep. They've probably done some rock crawling, some off-roading. not gonna scare anybody when you accelerate. I mean this is like it's fairly deep. It's fairly deep snow and this is having no issue and we're still we're two. still in just two-wheel drive. Wow, it's kind of impressive. Yeah. I mean it's soft snow. And it's not even struggling like the tires aren't even slipping at all right now. We're totally good. Yeah, an aftermarket backup camera might be a, yeah, a good bad. thing to get for one of these because you can't see out the back at all. 
Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is the part where I try to get you to buy it. Really close to you in your guys' face. Let me back up. All right. Evoke. FJ Cruiser. What'd you just say? <laughs> I like the FJ Cruiser. He likes the FJ Cruiser more than the Wrangler. More than the Wrangler. I, I get it. I mean, there's something... The FJ was cool. I wasn't supposed to like it that much. Honestly, I felt like I had to test drive an FJ Cruiser just because like it's a direct competitor to the Wrangler. I didn't really expect to like it that much, but I, I dig it. I yeah. dig it a lot. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? We have Raptor, Wrangler, FJ Cruiser, Evoke. Bear in mind, I can't actually afford a Raptor, but what do you guys think? What should I buy? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.